How do we see God's face? How do we seek his face? Yes, you're right. But how do we seek his face? Say that again. Seek. How do we seek his face? Isaiah. I'm going to show you how to seek God's face. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these prophecies shall fail. None shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. You hear that? You hear that? This is how we seek his face. Read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So we have to look into the Bible and we have to read. When we go to the churches, do we read out the Bible at the church? No, we don't. You listen to the preacher talk and give you a feel good speech. I hear the preacher say, What have we been doing up there, up there the whole time you've been here? What have we been doing? We've been reading out the Bible. You know why? Because I ain't nothing. I'm nobody. My words mean nothing. God's words mean everything. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these prophecies, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. None of these prophecies shall fail. Everything that's written in the book is going to come to pass. Everything. What he said, don't shave your head, don't, don't mark your, don't destroy your hair. Worshiping the sun god. Right. A lot of our people worship what they know not. Uh, you got to do it in the dictionary. Really? Acts, Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You hear that? So now you have to repent of the stuff that you didn't know that you was doing. Like right. shave your head. Whatever you grow in your beard, you gotta grow that. Whatever grow in your hair, you can trim it low like mine. It's trimmed low, but I'm not shaving my head. Because it's a sin. And the wages of sin is death. Read it again. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And that refreshing is him cleansing the earth. Cleansing this thing, and you want to be part of that one third that he can take back and put it to Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Hey, how you doing, brother? All right. Hey, you know what tribe you from? Nah, man, but I got 20, I got 22 bullets in my head. Oh, uh, yeah? In one year. Okay, okay. Look at that sign right there and tell me where you see yourself. On that last sign right there, 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, you Mexican? Yeah. All right, so you'll be from the tribe of Issachar. It's a cop. It's a cop. Hey, hey, yes? That's a high. Right. right. Is it there? You from Mexico? You've been to Mexico, right? Yes, sir. There's a city out there called Issa isn't it? Yes, sir. Right. Right by the capital. Right. So that's letting you know right now your people used to know who you are. We were slaves. Exactly. Who conquered your people? Who conquered our people in uh, 1492? The Spaniards. That's why you speak Spanish, right? Let me ask you a question. If um, if uh, so-called Mexicans speak Spanish, Cubans speak Spanish, Dominicans speak Spanish, Puerto Ricans speak Spanish, how come they ain't the same people? We all speak French. But, but, but why are they all the same people? Why are they considered different countries and different nationalities? Bring it up. Come on, let's, let's, let's. Because the white man knew in order to conquer, he had to divide. Right. That's why uh, so-called blacks and Hispanics don't know that they're the same people. Thus said the Lord of hosts, 
the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. They refused to let us go. They refused to let us go. But you know what? We, we tried to uh, unite, didn't we? With the Brown Berets, the Black Panthers. We can't give up. We're not giving up. That's why we out here today. Right. That's why we out here. And, and, and the Bible says for us to gather together. Old nations not desire. You know, I'm sitting in my house wondering, uh, is somebody arguing with something? I had to go out here, you know? Because look, we're a nation not desire, right? Because they call us black, African American, niggas, Negroes, colors, Afro Americans. They call uh. I call them ninjas. They call Hispanics. They call them what? Spicks, wet back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They call us all these different by words. So let's let me know that we are not desired by the, by the other nation. That's why we have to gather together. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flight, right. a nation guy. whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard off. the person of the old, nor show favor to I the young. Hey, hey. Oh, uh, yo, your father from Mexico? Yeah, I'm actually born here in Chicago. Okay, all right. So, so you said that said it all, right? I said it all. It did. Read it again. Okay. The Lord Daughter. shall bring a nation Proud. against thee from far. So, right there said the Lord, though. The Lord. Amen. Why did he bring this nation against us? Well, to me, uh, it's a sacrifice. To sacrifice who? His blood for us. All right, read that again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A, a nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of all, nor show favor to the young. All right, so right there it said, a nation from, from afar, far away, right? Those were the Spaniards, right? So they came over here and they conquered the so-called Mexicans and the so-called Native Americans, right? Now, today is the Sabbath. That's why we're out here teaching our people on this day, because a lot of sin goes on on this day. What does the Sabbath mean in Spanish? Because when I was growing up, I was learning both languages at the same time. So, you know, it is kind of confusing because I got my 22 bullet in my head for 21 years. I got no, no memory. You uh, were shot because gay banger? I was not. I never became a gay banger. Okay. All right, because a lot of the time... Bystander. Huh? Bystander. All right, let's see. And, and that's, a, that's a part of the curse. The curse. What is going on to me? Because I was trying to show you, you know what I'm saying, because you said a sacrifice. Because the Lord sent the, the, the Spaniards over here, right? Because we refuse to come back to his law statutes and commandments. Right. We are his chosen people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Everybody that's on that chart, that chart right there, the 12 tribes of Israel, those are God's chosen people. That's right. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses are going to come upon us and overtake us if we don't keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. I right, get that in uh, the first, you, first chronicles. You know. Thank you, brother. I right, read what you got. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man, praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Paul, oh, what does that mean? The head of Christ is God, right? Exactly. And Christ is our head, right? Exactly. I right, read. Every man, praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. What does that mean? Uh huh. All praise. All praise is all I was trying to get you to do. Oh yeah. All praise. Now see, that, that's a form of repentance right there. 
That's, that's what the Most High God is looking for. He's looking for his children to repent and come back to him. We, we, we stuck in the ways of this world. A lot of our people love this society, love, love the way they live because, you know, we, because we don't have the chains on us and uh, we ain't got the shackles that we free and we good, right? Great. Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will re receive you. So read this again. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I, and I will receive you. So we have to, we have to come from among the other nations, right? And stop doing the other clean things that they do, like having their stuff open on the Sabbath. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seven, That's seven, unclean. Selling stereos, eating stereos, eating unclean food. We have to come from among them. That's why you're a peculiar person to God. You know what I'm saying? We're a, a peculiar people, right? So we have to come back to these laws that you demand. You got the flyer. You got the understanding of who you are. So guess what? You, you can do it. You have to come congregate. Right. and be around like-minded men that's going to help you stay uh, on the right path. All because right. remember, the path is, is straight and narrow. It's a narrow path, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.